Hey folks, how you going? So today I'm going to be going over how to do Ember Core for your mount. So let's get into it, shall we? Right. Okay. First things first, you need to make sure you go back to Oribos and make sure that your covenant is set as the Revendreth faction, then the master must be stopped. Okay, yes. Now currently I am on a different covenant. So I'm going, yes, I was a fool. Leave your current covenant. You've joined Venthyr. Right. Now we need to make our way to Sinful. So, see you in a sec. Hey folks, we're back. So, I'm in Sinful at the moment. What we want to do is we now want to unlock our Ember Court. To do that, we'll need to talk to this guy. Foreman Flatfinger. Here he is. He's a Sanctum Upgrades Specialist. You gotta show me your Sanctum. Now, on this character, I actually don't have Ember Cord unlocked. Now, I'm gonna deposit the Anima that I've got in my bags. And that allows me to unlock the Ember Cord. So we select the Ember Cord, unlock upgrade. Yes. Now, that's gonna take an hour. So, I'll be back in an hour. All right. So an hour should have passed, so let's have a look. The upgrade is complete. The reason I know that is it has a quest there that says Sanctum Upgrade the Ember Court. So we're going to click that, accept it, and this will send us to the Ember Court. So, okay, let's unlock it. The Ember Court is now unlocked. So now we can actually start it. So after doing that quest, you go to the bat and it'll take us to Sinful Surface where the Ember Court is hosted. And here's the quest completion. All good. So, we're going to host the Ember Rehearsal, which is just a practice run for the Ember Court. So an Ember Court is actually a separate scenario, so you do have to hear through it as a solo scenario. Now we are ready to host our first Ember Court. So it says, finalize your guest amity selections for the Ember Court, then do your best to impress the guests. I'm going to Everything is while you so this is the actual procedure here, what you would normally do. Alive, We've got a party to we go down. Oh, something new. We've got our RSVP already from the previous quest line. So there are three things you do every week. Your RSVPs, your entertainment, and your refreshments. To make sure, until you unlock the others, of course. Well, I past Kate. Okay, some changes here for you folks. Now, as I was going through editing this, it may not have been 100% clear, but there is actually five things each week. You already start with three. I'll briefly explain to you why. So... As you can see here, when we were on the upgrade vendor, there is five upgrades. The other two are decorations and security. Decorations and security also give you extra reputation with the people you are doing. Also, you do need rank five to unlock the Countess, so you need to upgrade these anyway. I'm only showing exactly what we're doing on a level one to start with. I'll go over level five later. To make sure you can actually host the pool. So you select your refreshments, always tubbins, go to the atonements, select them. These will be the same ones we're using for Countess. And now we go host it. And I'll host. Yes. To unlock further parts of the Ember Court, you need to upgrade your Ember Court. As always, my dear friend, you arrive precisely when I have need of you. The guests will be arriving shortly. So, a quick and simple way of explaining how Ember Court works when you're actually in the scenario. As per the minimap in the top right corner, you'll get activities happening. Once you complete them, more will happen. What you need to do is complete the activities 
to reflect the court atmosphere for what your guests want. The strategy has been set up with your activities for the Countess. For a mount, of course, that's why we're here. So, participate in the activities, you will get rewards as long as you do it at the right court atmosphere. From this point on in the video, I am going to speed through the activities, but we'll stop them to give you a little bit of an understanding on how each activity works, just a quick and easy. Back to you, Pass Kate. Again, I thought it'd be easier for me to skip over some of this stuff and just have a bit of a look at it step by step. So, as you can see above my health bar, there is a weak aura. This will help immensely because it tells you which ones to choose in the Atoning Rituals event. This will be linked below the YouTube video. So the tea. Make sure that you feed your important guests tea every five minutes. Increases their happiness. Just another event to be a part of. It's almost time, you've done everything you can, time for tribute, time for the rewards, the kickbacks. Once this is over, that's it, collect rewards, talk to Prince Renathal, it's done. Let's do it. So you've got your Ember Court ranked up to five, upgraded fully. You've unlocked the Countess as an RSVP and you're good to go. Now, let's begin a real Ember Court, which will take eight days once you have unlocked the RSVP for Countess to actually get the mount. It used to be eight weeks, but with 10.2, we do have it as a daily reset instead of a weekly reset now. So that is fantastic. Thank you very much for that. For Blizzard, let's get stuck into it, shall we? As always, the first thing we need to do is our RSVPs. These are our guest lists. This is the current guest we would invite if we were to start an Ember Court right now. However, an RSV, only one is RSVP received. And it's not the lineup we want. So. We need to revoke some invitations here to invite the correct guests. To do that, you generally use infused rubies. Now, as you can see, I have no infused rubies. How do we get infused rubies? The best way is rares. So you're looking for any particular rares that you can find, such as the rare that spawns from this particular instance. You click all three mirrors, it does spawn a rare. The rare is called the Amalgamation of Light. Now, generally, I would have Rare Scanner or Silver Dragon installed so I could easily see them on the map. They're highly recommended. You don't need them if you know where the rares are, but 
as you can see here, when I loot it, I get a few infused rubies and also another kind of buff by the looks of it, another tool that I can use as a buff. So I'm heading over now to a second rare so we can kill that to get a few more infused rubies to be able to re-roll. That's what we're doing here. So we're going in and we're going to kill these four. It spawns the rare. Pretty easy. My DK is fairly well geared. So we just wait for Grand Arcanist Dimitri, end up killing him pretty quickly, loot him, and he gives 12 infused rubies, as you can see. So we open up back up at our guest list. There we go, we got the Countess. We just keep rolling until we get Countess in fourth slot. And the other slots will also be displayed on screen, as you can see above. Rendell, that's on the list. Keep re-rolling in the second slot. Once I click it, there we go. Droman. And we re-roll again, and I'll go Crypt Keeper. So that's the four that you need as per the list above. Next thing we need is our refreshments. So we've got to make sure we select the Tubbins Tea Party. We go down. We've got security as well and decorations. We select Mortal Reminders as per the screen above, of course. We go across. Go select our entertainment. We've seen this one before. This is the atoning rituals. Of course, we want that as well. And finally, we go over to select the security, which is the Stoneboard Reserves. But wait, there's a quest there. What's this about? Oh, so what happens is sometimes you will get refill quests, as you can see here. So they require certain items to refill their stock so you can use the actual selected venue. So we'll be back in a moment once I've got the materials from my main, which is the Paladin you saw pre previously in the video, to be able to fulfill the needs for this quest. So I just ended up using my Katie's stamp whistle, mailed to the requirements to my DK. The infused rubies are not mailable, they are soulbound, so those we knew how to collect them before. Go hand in the quest items to the security guard to be able to restock the security. Now we're selecting Stoneborn Reserves as per the list above for our security. Now we are ready to start our Ember Court. Back to Temple to start an Ember Court. So we're back with Temple to start our Ember Court because everything's good, right? Oh, hang on. We don't have an RSVP for one of our guests. Hmm, what could that be? We're just going to have to open our guest list and have a bit of a look see let's have a look now because i have all the guests at best friend they all receive automatic rsvps back however rendell and cudgel face you can see does not have that i'll quickly cover on how to go over and do the rsvp quest for each guest so then that way you know where to go, kind of what to do. I'll also link them down, the Wowhead articles down below as well. But we will run over one as an example, which will be Rendell and Cudgelface, because as you can see, I don't have the RSVP for that. So, see you in a sec. Map. As you can see up here, this is where to go for the RSVP quest if you don't have it for Keeper Cassia. Keeper Cassia has. What you have to do is you have to go accept the RSVP quests, kill the nearby enemies, open up the crypts with the crypt keys, and then loot his ring, return back to Crypt Key Cassia, hand it in, open the RSVP in your bags, and that's it. So Droman Alioth is located in the Hibernal Hollow in Arnwild. This quest, RSVP quest, is a little tricky. It's a little bit of a trade swap. So the details are located in the Wowhead link below. What I would recommend is follow their instructions. Also, stock up on the very first item you're doing. So the first item requires a Shadowlands material as a trade to trade and trade and trade and trade. Reading the article is a little bit more of a better description, but it is basically trading item for item until you get the item at the end, which is called the Preserved Berries to trade for the RSVP each week. So for Countess, it's really simple. You go to the destination marked on the map above. 
you will need to go through a teleport mirror. Once you're through the mirror, accept the quest, go out, find the horse as marked in the blue dot on the map, ride the horse to the destination within the time limit, go back to Countess, hand it in, get your RSVP, use it in bags. Go down to the second level and Regil and Cundable Place are off to the left hand side here and you will see that on this particular day you're looking at the cudgel face. You want the RSVP? Press OK. Now, with this you need to find a suitable hat. Now with the suitable hat, what I prefer to use or what I recommend is the pink party hat which can be created by tailors. So I've logged on to my tailoring alt. Now I know you may all not have this. You can buy the pink party hat directly from the auction house. All the mats except the shrouded cloth can be bought from a vendor. To get the penumbra and the pink dye, you head to your major faction, whether it be Orgrimmar, as you can see by my tailor, or Stormwind, and go to the tailoring vendor. So you head on in, I'm going to talk to the tailoring vendor and grab some penumbra thread and some pink dye. I already had some penumbra thread on me, but you can grab it directly from this vendor. There it is. Suitable hat. So you give Rendell the suitable hat, and there you go. You get the RSVP. Use it in your bags like so, and that's how you use an RSVP and get it. Let's begin the Ember Court. As a reminder, this can only be done once a day, so I would recommend making sure you set enough time for yourself to be able to complete the Ember Court and do every activity that you possibly can. So, you see your court atmosphere now. You want the top two bars as far right as possible. The third from the bottom, far left. And then the pink one at the bottom, you want as far right as possible. If you are looking for the exact stats, what the names of the stats are, I will have them up here as well, just as a quick little reminder as well as the video speeds up. From this point on, I am just going to be doing activities and prioritizing those stats on any quests I see. So this is where the video is going to pick right up, speed up, until we get to the end. Unless there's something that requires seeing.
and that's it. Rinse, repeat. That's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching the video, folks. This is my first go at a tutorial of any kind. So please do like, subscribe, that sort of thing as well, because I do have some more quicker ones coming up. This one was a very comprehensive, easy way to try and do things. It was a little bit out of hand, but I did what I could. See you next time.